Hey, what's up, yo? It's me, Morgan of HD. And uh, a while back, I posted a community post featuring this. A Player 2 Famicom controller with a connector. Which is not normal, because they're normally tethered to the Famicom. And I wanted to try out the controller through the Famicom expansion port, but there's just one problem. The actual connector, it doesn't go into the Famicom. Well, I mean, it does, but it's too short for it to actually plug in to the Famicom. Which, thankfully, I have found a fix for that. Um, right here is the RefNet Famicom to NES controller adapter. Um, now, what this does is that it converts Famicom controllers to the NES. Or, I guess in this case, the AV Famicom. Even though it already uses Famicom controllers through the expansion port. That is tight. And what I can achieve through this is, well, that. It does, doesn't fall out or anything, it just stays there. Now, you might be wondering how I actually got this controller to work. And uh, what I did is that I wired all the pins to this terminal connector that I bought off Amazon. Uh, all, you're, all you really do with these is just unscrew the pin uh, terminal, I guess. Stick the wires in, re-screw them, and there you go, you got yourself a wired controller. I'll put up a pin diagram in case you're interested in trying this out, but that's not the point. What I wanted to try was, was using my Player 2 Famicom controller on the AV Famicom, and uh, I actually tested this on the NES too, but I don't really have any games on the NES that use the microphone. But that's what my EverDrive is for. Yeah. But without further ado, I'm gonna hook this, uh, this thing back to my setup and then try it out and see if it actually works. At first, I wanted to try Mario Brothers, which I have on an NES cartridge. And when I plugged in the Player 2 controller, I was able to control Luigi well. However, even though I was holding the Player 1 controller, Mario suffered a lot. Sorry, Mario. After that, I wanted to see if the microphone worked too, so I booted up the Famicom version of Legend of Zelda, which, no, I don't own yet, but after this video, I will buy the disc, and maybe the actual disc system too. Unfortunately, when I got to the area in level 5 where you make the noise and the microphone to defeat the Pulse voice, I kept repeating the Skyrim reference and the mic and nothing happened. What a shame too, because it would have been pretty funny. Oh well, worth a try. After that, I tried it with an actual NES. But that came out with the same result. Still worth a try though. Fish. Overall, I think the idea of using my Player 2 Famicom controller on the AV Famicom actually turned out pretty good. And as for the adapter, if I were to give this adapter its own collect review episode, which maybe someday I will, I just need to get new controllers first, I would give it a 7 out of 9. It does as advertised, and it really did well for the Famicom Player 2 controller. Speaking of, uh, if anyone can get this to RapNet Technologies themselves, um, maybe you can ask them to add the modded Player 2 controller with a note saying that the microphone does not work. Anyway, I think that's gonna do for now. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell if you like, and that's all you gotta do, so... Goodbye.